Showdown, right? Oh yeah, thanks for watching. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm your biggest fan. Can I get an autograph? Well, actually, I don't really have anything on me. Oh, can I your jacket? I'd love it if I could have your jacket. No, 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 don't touch, don't go, don't touch the hair. Please, please, don't touch. Get your head, get your head out of my hair. Jess? Are you Jessica? Yeah, you'll never guess who I just ran into. It's that guy from Dan Showdown. Yeah. Brian Tanaka! <laughs> what up, y'all? This is your boy, Dietrich. This is it. This is the week where you at home get to decide which of our four finalists becomes grand champion and winner of $25,000. In just a minute, I'm gonna flash back to all four dances and tell you guys what I think about each of their dancing skills. Just like last time, it's up to you and your votes alone to determine our winner. And for everybody watching this, you have to remember that this is not a popularity contest. This is a dance competition and 25 G's is on the line. So watch your performances and vote for the best dancer. And you can do that by going to youtube.com slash dance on. Y'all ready? Let's do this. All right, Carrington and Kingsley. I'd have to say for sure that Kingsley stepped up his game from the last performance just because he was feeling a little bit more, he was a little bit more comfortable. For the stunt I gave you guys, probably could've been a little bit better if she was rolling off your back. I probably could've gave her a little bit more of a push up. Overall, you guys definitely accomplished the challenge. In the beginning, you guys had this little moment where you guys were drinking. I felt like that acting was a little too good, as if you guys were professional alcoholics or something. Was it acting, Kingsley? Was it acting, Carrington? And now I want to point something out. Every time, Kingsley, that you were dancing with Carrington, like, together, together, he was always looking to the side. All right, stop right there. Now she's grinding on you. She wants that brotherly Kingsley love, but you ain't giving it to her. But I would say when you're by yourself, you was feeling it a lot more, especially during the fist pump part. If you would have just felt that same way when you're dancing with Carrington, the performance would have came alive a lot more. Seen Anders and Lauren, before this whole performance, you guys have like no chemistry. Seen Anders being mean, but you guys have really came around and figured out a way to work together. You guys are having like great, great moments together. Pause right there. Okay, this right here. See your face. Look how happy you are. I felt like because your chemistry was on with Lauren, you were able to perform the camera and just show him that you were having a great time. And the challenge I gave you guys doing the Dietrich sweater commando, you made it look easy and effortless, which is a great thing. And then on top of that, you guys gave yourselves your own challenge, you know, with you dodging her kicks, and then she was dodging your punch, and then she dropped and you ran over her and landed in a cool position. I feel like there was more jabs in there than a weekend at Chris Brown's. <laughs> Brian and what's up, L? By far the best performance of the night. She is two for two. She's great at dancing, she's great at performing, she's great chemistry, she has what it takes to be the winner. But the sad thing is that she doesn't have the YouTube subscribers. This routine was extremely ambitious. I mean, like, the first one was so good that you have to top that. And I felt like that's exactly what you did. And L, the whole cloning part, that's that's a great idea. You know what? I wonder what life would be like if we had, like, a Dietrich clone. Yeah. You got, be quiet! Shut up! Be quiet! What are you guys doing? This is my show. I don't That was a bad idea. The only thing with these clones is that you have to make sure that the choreography is on point and together. That one part where you guys dipped, maybe the choreography wasn't together. But the good thing is that you guys went back in sync and back onto the routine. The challenge I gave you guys was the chog roll. You guys made it so easy looking. You guys added stuff before it, like you dropped down, he did this butterfly over you, and then you dropped and rolled right away, and you were performing at the same time. All right, rewind this back. I gotta see this part again, right? Okay, right there. Look at your face, L. Look how happy you are to do this chog roll. Before, you were scared of You didn't know what to do because you didn't trust this dude. Look at that smile. That's the smile on L. Enjoying it, loving it, living it, and trusting Brian. Good job. Woody and Carrington. Oh man. Woody, use my man, dude. 
But this dance, uh, it started and it just kind of just kept going down this hill and it just did not work out. There was just times when you were just looking to the side, looking for Carrington on what the next move was. Those are the type of things that we can obviously see. Even when you do get into the groove of things, your performance, it just looked like your face was just this sad little puppy dog that didn't know where to go. <laughs> now the thing is, is maybe it wasn't all your fault. Carrington, you know, she was kind of tough on you during pre-rehearsal. You never danced ever, and for a professional dancer to tell you basically you're not doing it, it, it kind of hurts you, you know? But the challenge, I would say, with the Tour D catch, everything turned out well, and you guys executed the stunt perfectly. Rewind back to this point right there. Okay, you see, this is for Woody's wife. I want you to see, look at the left hand. No boob grab. He played it safe. He's not even making eye contact with this babe. So Woody's wife, take it easy on the guy. I felt like the best parts of this whole routine is when you're just acting and not actually dancing. That's what your, your strong point is, who you are as a person. I would say out of all the couples, the most improved would have to go to Kingsley and Carrington. The best chemistry would have to go to Lauren and Sinanners. The overall best performance of the night would definitely go to What's Up Ellen Bryan. Woody, you know what you get? You get the award of being the best non-booby grabber. All right, people, those are my thoughts. Now it's your turn to vote. And don't just go to the individual video and click like and like over again. That's not gonna do anything, you silly little YouTuber you. In order to vote, you have to go to the homepage at youtube.com slash dance on, click on the video you wanna vote for, and then go to that little thumbs up at the very top and click that. You can vote once per video per day, and you have until Tuesday, May 29th at 9 p.m. Pacific time. So vote as many times as you can. But we're gonna be back next Thursday live to announce your Dance Showdown champion. So make sure you're here, and make sure you guys subscribe. Come on, stop hating and subscribe. Cause if you don't subscribe, you're gonna hurt my feelings. You have to subscribe. You and you. Subscribe.